Okay, so anyone who is dealing with the trauma patient should be aware of the term damage control resuscitation. So what does this mean? So it consists of three components. One is your permissive hypotension, second is hemostatic resuscitation and third is damage control surgery. So understand that in permissive hypotension, we maintain the blood pressure of the patient lower than the normal range so as to prevent the dislodgement of the clot, prevent hemorrhage and at the same time maintaining vital, uh, perfusion to the vital organs uh, like liver, kidney, brain, heart. But mind you, if the patient is having head injury also in the trauma, then this permissive hypotension doesn't work. You need to maintain the normal blood pressure in head injury patient, otherwise the brain will get further damage. So if the patient is having head injury, permissive hypotension component should be avoided. But if the patient is having trauma and the, there is no head injury, then the permissive hypotension uh, should be a uh, rule should be followed to prevent the hemorrhage and dislodgement of clot. Now, hemostatic resuscitation, second component, it means in trauma, there are multiple causes of of a coagulopathy in a trauma patient like blood loss with the loss of coagulation factor, flu resuscitation, trauma per se can cause coagulopathy, multifactorial. So it aims at correcting the coagulopathy in the patient. And the third is damage control surgery. So damage control surgery means at the time, at that particular period of time, we are just doing the surgery to prevent the hemorrhage and the wood deprivement and we are minimizing the OT time. The definitive repair is not done at that stage. The definitive uh, repair is done in a stage manner when the patient has been stabilized later on. So in damage control surgery, we just do control the hemorrhage and debride the wound to prevent the sepsis. So damage control resuscitation, you have permissive hypotension, hemostatic resuscitation and damage control surgery. So any trauma patient, always think of this. Do read more about it.